I'm going to introduce you to great British modern artists that I believe are great investments on the up or about to explode. Hi everybody, David Harper here and this is a brand new, never seen before, behind the canvas look at modern British artists at home and in their studios. The real artists behind the work you see in galleries, museums and collections all around the world. And let's start with the painter who created this from his Reflections series. Come with me to West Yorkshire to meet Richard Gower in his natural environment. Excuse me. Um, you need... That's your uh, paint. Brush, water. No, it's down there. <laughs> I haven't drunk white spirit before. You haven't? <laughs> I put my brush in my coffee and drunk white spirit before. That's a bit of a shock. <laughs> so this is one of your signature pieces then, Rich, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. It's, it's known as reflections. Um, and it's like reflections in the path or reflections on life. And it's capturing moments, which I love. Um, so for this instance, um, I've been influenced by graffiti walls, uh, your letters or billboard posters where the deterioration. But it's obviously a rainy day and you've got the reflections of the people, these long reflections of these anonymous characters walking past. Where they're going, what they're doing, we don't know. We don't know, but you see them all the time. And I use my, my sketchbook live to capture these characters and then go to paint. Let me just stop you there. Brilliant. I can edit this down. With the next one, can you glance at me as well? So, so it looks like you're glancing at the camera, but that's, that's perfect. All right, okay. So, no, I'll, I'll edit that. Was that all right though? Beautiful. It was yes, beautiful. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pick up from there. Yeah. No, it was perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, good, good call. Right, okay. Now, do you know these people, Rich, or have you just seen them? I've I've just I've just seen them, David. It's it's um, like I say with the sketchbook. I walk about. Um, I keep a small sketchbook on me, and just ca capture the moment of these these people. Sometimes I've worked from photographs, um, but mainly I love just the sketches because it's an instant. It's just capturing something. They're all anonymous, but we can all relate to these characters. You yeah, know, sort of I, I, I like the idea of you thinking, what are they doing? What do they do? What are they thinking? Yeah, yeah. where they're going, where have they been? It's, it's, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. Cause it's a moment it's just, in time, isn't it? It is, it is. It's capturing that moment. So with this particular work as, as well, you know, they're the, the running off the, or walking off the canvas. We don't know. The silhouette of this character here, who is he, he who is she? Yeah. We don't know, but yeah. we can all relate to it. Yeah. And it's just something I find fascinating. I just find absolutely fascinating. I've got to say, I always think your reflection paintings are moving. They have a great movement yeah. to them. I mean, you can see that obviously with the characters, but it does feel like yeah. they're running away. They're getting out of the rain. Yes, yes, that's, that, that's, that's the idea. That's the idea. And it's almost uh, as if he, he started here when I started the painting. Yes. But, he's, but he's, 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 he's ended up over here, you know, sort of thing. So, yeah, but you always see something in it. You can relate to it. And that's what I like about my reflections. You know, it's just capturing these characters. When you did know? you start painting reflections? It started when I was on a motorbike trip in Spain, believe it or not, and we, uh, the rain came down, so we jumped off the bike, went into this bar, just to get out of the rain, and I was watching characters scurrying past, and the rain running down the window gave me the idea because it blurred these characters, and that's when it first happened, and that would be... 12 years ago or something, right. the first influence on that. So as, as a painter, you can't help looking for, a, for inspiration. Oh, it, it's it, just it, everyday it, it, thing. It's, it's, it's there everywhere. Um, you know yourself as a fellow painter, it's, it's there. You know, you, you cannot ignore it, you know, and, and sometimes it's, it's not necessarily a photographic memory, but it's, in, it's implanted in your brain and it comes out, you know, later on when you're painting. So, yeah, yeah. But it, it's, it's all your feeling that comes through as you're painting. Well, don't they say that, that an artist doesn't paint with his brush, he paints with his soul? Yeah, I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. It, it's, it's, it's an emotion thing that goes through. Um, we put everything into it. It's not... Francis Baker once said, um, art is an illustration. I disagree with him. It, it is. 
it's 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 an illustration on life the way you feel about it you know that's that's what I get from it you know when I do my reflections and so. how do you feel when you're painting and can you only paint when you're feeling a certain way um, yeah um, it, it's commissions sometimes you have a deadline um, but um, I will never release a work unless I'm personally happy with it you know uh, I can't talk and paint at the same time. Yes, you can. That. You're doing a beautiful job. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You, you, you've got to be in the mood, and and and, um, and it is tiring. You do concentrate sometimes. There is an instinctive thing. Um, what I'm always amazed by is one brush mark before the painting isn't finished, but the next one it is, and you never know when that is. But you just know at some point that work's done. You might shelve it for a couple of days, come back to it, but more often than not, you know, we're sort of there. Where um, are we with this particular painting? Well, I don't think I'm far away with this now. I'm just doing a little bit of highlighting going on. Um, the works, when I start this, this work, I think the canvas was initially stained blue. But I use very thin down Prussian blue, which is my favourite, because it sometimes it's black. I never use black. Um, but it can be really dark light black and so I'm getting this runny effect which creates these characters so I'm quickly learning and doing what these characters are doing and then yeah. build it up from there and as you know I'm, in, I'm influenced by the Impressionists and it, anything which is light in the Impressionists was always thicker paint so when you see him doing the trees or anything and the, the uh, sunlight coming through it's just thicker paint which brings it through, you see. So I'm just highlighting now at the moment. <laughs> no, you say you can't talk. You can't talk and paint. <laughs> I'm really holding you up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to allow you to paint. Can we watch you paint yeah, just you, a little while? You certainly can. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to increase some highlights with, with thicker white. Might be a little bit of Prussian blue in. But I love the pastiche. Um, I like old brushes sometimes where they haven't. I won't say it's clean properly, but they've gone a bit harder. But I'm just... But you can see how this is bringing out the lightness in the work now. On this particular work, I've used letter set as well. See the letter set, which is um, just rubbed down lettering, but it gives that deteriorating wall effect. And then this could be old plaster or paint that's peeling off so it's literally I'm just just going around just a bit of highlights so to make this character stand out with a rough edge because he's going to be a bit a bit blurred or she a bit blurred in the background a bit of dry brush but we can see how it gives a bit more movement But oil, um, I have used mixed media, um, acrylic, and I've mixed acrylic with oil sometimes. But oil is is just a superb medium to work with. You can move the paint around, manipulate it. But I'm not too far away with this. I, I will shelve this for a few hours, come back to it. Is that what you do generally? So you, you'll think you're somewhere near, Yeah. go and have a cup of tea, go and work on something else and then look yeah. with it fresh eyes. Yeah, come with it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's important to do that. Just, just have another look, yeah. Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night, Rich, with an idea and jump out of bed and start painting? Um, I don't start painting, but I will sketch. Right. I will sketch, uh, you know, um, painting at light, um, Excuse me. Um, you need. That's your uh, paint brush, water. No, it's down there. <laughs> <laughs> I have drunk white spirit before. You haven't? <laughs> I put my brush in my coffee and drunk white spirit before. <laughs> That's a bit of a shocker. Um, yes, yeah, so, so sketching, but, but, but no, um, I, I won't paint really under electric light. It, it's, um, again, <laughs> You know, I'm influenced by the Impressionists, how quick they work and everything. And when they painted outside with, under the brollies, it wasn't to keep the sun off them. It was to shade the painting. 
so how it would look in a house. So they get the colour and then mix it. So in the house, you see. So I'm fine with works how they will look when they're back in in the living room. Do you move your easel around the room if that's the okay? case? Yes, yes, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this particular work um, on an evening will be in my living room here, so I can see what it looks like on an evening without natural light coming through, and uh, and you get a different effect, different effect. So yeah. light is vital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, light. Um, produces different moods, it produces um, different characters to the work. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you, you, you need light. Electric light, I, I, I sort of struggle with. Um, Lucian Freud, he used to paint um, with daylight in one studio and then on an evening paint with electric light. So he'd have two different styles of work, you know, sort of thing. But it, it's, it's how every, every painter, every artist is, is different. It's how we a comfortable working and you know and and to get the end result we want you know sort of thing and where is this painting destined to end up i'm hoping um it, it'll be at a gallery in london um i've done smaller reflection works um in the graffiti style which have been popular um but i do like the larger works um i just think um there is there is a case that they're too big for some houses but but i disagree i, th I think um, a painting makes a living room and you, even if you've got small below ceilings a big painting it, it just has a presence you know and you, you never it never becomes wallpaper you never stop looking at it you always see something different so yeah so hopefully um, that's where it's going to go and to a new home you yeah, know good. We'll, we'll get as much pleasure from it as I I do creating it you know sort of thing it's the idea So what I like to do is, it's not finished yet this work, but I'll, I'll take it into my living room, which is, I regard as part of my studio. And I always hold a work up to the mirror and it just gives me a different feel, just double checking. And it's as if I haven't painted it or, which isn't a bad thing, but I just like to double check for the balance structure. And then what I do is I will lean at the back of my living room, it's a different light, and I get a feel for how it would look when curated. And we're getting there, I think, with this one. And there's some of the works, as you can see, that I lean up that I'm working on. How far off do you think, Rich, we are? I'd, I'd, I'd say, oh, it's just a little bit of highlighting to do now on, on this work so I'm happy with the lettering happy with the letter set this the the figures th they're animated they're moving and that's that's what I'm wanting and this character here you can obviously see looking that way is she reading is she w looking at this guy it's what they're thinking what they're doing you know we don't know but um, but that's that's what I enjoy the anonymity if that's the word So what have we got here? Um, well, it's, a, it's, it's my book, David. That's I'm, you. I'm, that is I. Um, it's uh, my journey over the last five years, which um, somebody kindly wrote. And it's, it's just a diary and um, interviewed by somebody professional, wrote the book. Uh, and it's a, basically a picture book of the work that I've produced, where I've been, where I'm going. Hang on a minute. I've, I've got one of yours. So the one that you gave me last time I saw you was out of date. Uh, this is the current one. <laughs> <laughs> so you gave me one of your old ones. Yeah, you can get rid of that now. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, so this is the last five years. The one that you have was the previous five right, years. Right. So okay. every five years I will produce something. Got and, you. It, it, and it is a diary of just where I've been, where I'm going. And it's just a wonderful record for collectors as well. Sure. Sometimes the work's in, you know, more often than not, it is in here. Yes. And, and yeah, so um, I just enjoy doing them. I haven't read it, to be honest. You haven't? I haven't read it. I, just, I read the, um, the foreword uh, yeah. by a good friend who, um, and collector, 
um, but I haven't read the rest of it. Yet. I just thought. But you, just... Richard, of all people in the world, you know what's in there. You know what you've uh, been uh, doing for the last uh, five uh, years. Exactly. 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 Yeah. And it was up to somebody else to, to, to interview me. So I, I was there when I was asked the questions: where, how, what, and why. So I was happy with that. Somebody else proofread it. They said yeah. it's okay. It reads yeah. right. Um, but I didn't want to um, edit it or. No. It, it's, it, because it becomes too autobiographical then. It's, it's like when you see a photograph of yourself, you look at yourself in the mirror, but you see a photograph of yourself, you look completely different. You do, yeah. yeah you know? I mean, I, I see myself as being 25 years old. How about you? Are you the same? <laughs> yeah, are you 25? Oh, I'm The artist's I'm, eyes. I'm stuck at 35, I think. <laughs> but, but, yeah, that would do. Years that that would do. do fine. That'll do. Yeah. That'll do. So, so yeah, are and, you going to give me? You, is it? That is for you. Oh. Um, um, so add it to the, to the other one. And I then will. In the next five years, all being well. I'll come back be... in five years. Are <laughs> yeah. you going to sign this to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you'll be 40 then, you'll be middle-aged. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> I wish. Are you going to sign this for me? I will sign that for you. Yep, Richard, it's a up. delight to see you as ever. And, and you too, David. Yeah. Wonderful, yeah, wonderful yeah. to man. see you. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Yeah. And thanks again to Richard for allowing me to film a never-seen-before-behind-the-canvas look at him, his work, his fabulous home and studio. So there you have it, everybody. Richard Gower, an artist, a British working artist that you need to discover and learn more about. Prices are on the rise. Thanks for watching. I'm David Harper. Until the next artist, cheerio.